Hi and welcome back to Wapalo Unwrapped. In this session I'm going to show you how to create a hyperlink from a bootstrap table and link it to an edit page. I know in this series we haven't created the edit page yet but I've had a number of requests from people as to how to create this hyperlink so I thought I would get this video out as quickly as I can. I have pre-created the Edit University page but we'll go through that in the next video as to how to prepare that. So here we have our standard bootstrap table with the searchable features, the edit sorts and what we want to do now is add that all important hyperlink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so when you click the university name it will pass the unique ID of that university as in a get parameter under the name of ID and it's quite straightforward to do. It's one of those things that once you know how to do it you think oh it's so simple but a lot it, a lot of people including myself took a lot of time to work this out so first thing we've got to remember is this is a, a static value effectively a bound value that Wapler's put in and all I'm going to do is I'm going to change that using the data binding picker to the university name and what the, we then need to remove the previous static value that we had in before You'll see now that we still have the values in as we require, but this now we have it in a slightly different form. And what we're going to do is we're now going to change that to a hyperlink. To do that, we just simply click on the chain mail icon. Now, this is where I went wrong, and I'm quite sure a lot of other people that have sent queries about this to me is that they've now gone up there and have tended it, typed in something like edit.php query id equals double curly braces id closed couple double braces and what they find is when they do that when they do that this is treat as a literal it does not convert get converted into a dynamic value so they don't they can't use the link that's not the way to do it in what what we will do is i'm just going to return that back to a simple hash and that's all i'm going to do because what this data binding that we've created there is actually going to be modified now within the DOM panel. Don't forget hyperlinks are uh, an HTML factor so we were uh, going to use the DOM panel to create things in there and what we're going to do is we we'll look over here in the TDA we'll see that anchor link that we created earlier the hyperlink and all that is is a simple hash. Let's go to dynamic attributes links and tell it we need a dynamic link and here is where we type in how the link is to work so in our case edit uni.php sorry query id equals and now we can use that curly brace system um, and it's uni id and that folks is the hyperlink created if you look at a code view it does seem a little bit strange but what happens is this binding here will overwrite this reference here and what we'll do is we'll get the link that we we want so let's save that let's have a look at it in the browser you can see the ids alongside each of the universities and if you look down in the bottom left hand corner you will also see the hyperlink showing that we're going to edit uni php id equals and the unique id of those if you want to see how it work there we are simple click takes us to the edit page that we require so thank you for joining me that's how to create that uh, dynamic link from the bootstrap table i hope that's helped all those who have sent me messages asking for help and i hope to see you soon in the next lesson which will allow us to create this page Thanks for coming to Wapler Unwrapped. Goodbye.